So tippet rings come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. The smallest size are so small that you can even use them with a dry fly if you want. They won't sink a dry fly. Honestly, for nymph and streamer fishing, for most of my trout fishing, I just use the medium size. And the larger size, you can use in, in saltwater fishing or steelhead fishing where you've got a heavier tippet. So when your knotless leader gets too short, all you need to do is tie a tippet ring onto the end of your leader with your standard clinch knot and then tie your new tippet on the other end of the tippet ring with the same clinch knot. And this can be permanent. You can leave that tippet ring on your leader for the rest of the season because you're never going to lose any of your, the rest of your leader when you tie the tippet ring on. All you're going to lose is a little piece of tippet. This is going to be permanent on the end of your leader. So to put on a tippet ring, uh, they come in a little snap and find the end of the snap that's going to come loose. So check first and make sure you find the way the snap's going to open. Then close the snap again, pull the last tippet ring in the group off to the side and just thread your tippet through it. and tie a standard clinch knot, five or six turns. Tighten your knot, check your knot, and now you can open up that snap and pull the tippet ring off, and you're not gonna lose it. I don't know how many times I've uh, when I first started using these, I would take the tippet ring off the snap and start to tie and I'd drop it in the river and of course it's gone. So just make sure you keep them on the snap uh, before you tie them on. One final word of advice on tippet rings. Don't go online and buy cheap ones to save money. I had a friend who thought he was really clever and he bought a bunch of tippet rings online for a tenth the price that you buy them in a fly shop and he kept complaining about his tippet breaking and when we looked at those tippet rings under a microscope, we saw they had all kinds of burrs that were abrading his tippet. So the ones you buy in a fly shop are finely polished and they're not gonna cut your tippet.